So last spring, well not last spring, this spring, last spring, um, March of this year, I bought, uh, I got a set of 18 inch wheels for the wife's Q7 and these are off of another Q7 so offset everything's going to be correct and they should fit over the brakes because they're not anything special so hopefully I didn't goof up. Uh, we're sanding these up to paint them. We're going to go with uh, like a satin black and then I got some snow tires. These are 2017 production run. Tire Rack sells them super cheap so I got a set of snow tires for like 550 dollars shipped. Um, and then I'll probably have to pay like 75 bucks or 100 bucks per to have them installed so you, maybe I'm not saving that much money. Well, it depends where we go. I don't remember it being that expensive, but that's what one shop quoted me after I had the tires removed from this. But I am sanding with 320, which might be finer than I need to. This I got the barrel done on this one. I'm starting on the surface. This one's already done, I hope. I hope that's prepped well enough. I'm not good at paint, so we're crossing our fingers. But these will be her winter wheels, so if it... If they don't come out nice or the paint doesn't work out great, then I just won't ever do wheels myself again. And I'll send them to a shop and get powder coat. This is what I got for paint. So hopefully it's enough. I figure one can per wheel and then half a can for some primer. I got the this epoxy. It's like a beige. It doesn't really matter because black's going over it. But it's supposed to be a little bit higher build of a 2K. And these are those cans I like where you take this plug off the top, you put it on the bottom, it discharges the hardener into the paint. You shake the shit out of it, and if you need to save it, put it in the fridge. If you're lucky, it'll make it a week, but usually not. And then they have uh, hot rod black satin. Yeah, give it that rod. <laughs> I'll leave that in. Who fucking cares? So, you have two more to go, and I can spray it. And this stuff, I haven't found a good way. To get rid of it. I was using brake clean a little bit, but I noticed it kind of makes the existing paint soft. And since I'm not stripping these, I don't want to do that. So I tried the rubber wheel. It does okay, but really it just smears more glue in other places. So it's a matter of just sitting down and being annoyed for like a half an hour trying to scrub that shit off of there. Steve came over for a little welding party and then I stuck around to help me sand the last two wheels so they're ready to go but not ready to paint obviously that one's super filthy so i'm going to get a bucket is this one good enough not really maybe i'll use my car wash bucket i'll find a clean one but i'm gonna get some nice hot dish soapy water and scrub these things down and then lay them on towels in here and kind of let them dry off a bit and then i'm gonna bring them inside tonight which i need to bring the paint inside too so it gets warm Put that on the stairs so I remember it. Yeah, so keep those inside, keep the wheels inside, and then I'll run the heater tomorrow when I get home from work and get ready to paint them. But I gotta figure out a way to hold these up because I wanna do everything all at once. So I'm gonna need to paint like the back side and then flip them over and paint the front. If I don't want overspray, right? It would be nice to do the front and the back with the primer and then flip them over again, but it's so like unless I make something that like perfectly goes in these holes to hold all the wheels up, it's just not gonna that's not gonna work. So maybe maybe I'm thinking too hard about it. There's gotta be a way. I'll give it some thought. So wheels have been inside overnight, paint's been inside overnight. I hung a bunch of straps. So I'm just gonna hang them. Hopefully that's strong enough <laughs> to, with some wire, but then I realized I'm almost out of wire, so let's use these old ratchet straps. Um, this is all I've got left, so I need to buy more. These are getting pretty pretty tired. So I'll just make little loops out of this to hook through the wheel. I did uh, these bolts fit through the valve stem hole and just kind of sit in there. And then I drilled a hole in all of them so that we can put the wire through the hole and then hook them. So I'll get all those hung, see if I think it's going to be stable or safe for that matter, and then get to painting. I ended up making a brace. I put the first one up and it's near that joint. You can, it kind of flexed a bit. You can see there's a little bit of a wave to it now, but I figured by the time I put all four on, it would just be too much for it, especially in the middle, because that's not supposed to take a load this way. <laughs> oh, well, I'll let you guys figure that one out. But the this makes me feel a lot better about the setup. Nothing's going to fall down. So first can. Stuff's great. I can't find my tripod. So I'm trying to figure something else out. Maybe sit here. Does that work? Yeah, that works. 
Great, so this stuff, the hardener's in the bottom. So you pop this little plug out of the top, and then it lines up on there, so you have something to push on. I forget if you're supposed to hold it like 30 seconds or something, but you just like, oh, don't break. There we go. Yeah, I forget if you're supposed to count. I guess there's a tech sheet right here. It just says once you do it to, once it clicks into place, which clearly made a hole. And it says after activating, shake it vigorously. Yeah, it's a few minutes. So when the mixer balls are hard. So here, it's got multiple balls. And uh, shake the can, test spray color, six to eight inches. 10 minutes flash, 16 minutes dust dry. Dry to touch in three hours. Okay, whatever. This one right here, overcoatable, 15 minutes. So I don't remember, do you do the coats after the flash or after the 15? So this one we might be able to spray fast. I should be shaking this. Yeah, I'm gonna read just a little more. Oh, that was the top coat sheet. So five to 10 minutes between each coat and then 15 minutes before you can top coat it. So. This should go a little quicker than I thought. I thought the 15 minutes is what I need to wait between each coat. So I'll just start spraying. Five minutes after I'm done spraying, I'll do a second coat. And it says two to three. It's two minutes. I'm going to start on the inside of one. And then I'll set to put the camera down because I'll need to rotate these a little bit. Uh, all right, it has a... You can set the top min and max. I think probably... Damn it. Let's see. So that's min, and that's max. Min, max. Let's go right in the middle and see how that works. We don't need a lot. I don't want to overspray too much, but there's not a lot in here that couldn't use some paint anyway. That coat's pretty nice. I'm gonna end up probably only needing one can and then two of the black. I might not even need two of the black. Well, I'm gonna do more coats of that, so. Nice, hopefully I bought double. That'd be great. I should put a respirator on. Okay, first coat on. I'm a, I'm a good boy and put on a respirator. Uh, and the can barely made it. I started to get close to running on this one, so I'm gonna wait five minutes. Ten, well, yeah, five minutes or so, and do these two. This one I did a little thicker. I was doing a little bit of jab on it, but I may have gotten a run. And then I'll do this one before that one, because this one has good coverage, and that way I can make sure this gets good coverage too. And maybe it should turn out, and then I'll check back in with the first top coat. Okay, first coat of black is going on. I had right here. Mm, you can probably see how ugly that is. I had a run. A little bit of a run and then I was stupid and I tried to like smooth it out. <laughs> uh, so I'm hoping that it just builds up and looks okay, but winter wheels live and learn. Worst things have happened. Mm. I don't know if there's like a best way to do this. I've been doing the, these little insides first. Maybe, well, I did it at first after that run though. I was like maybe I'm getting too much build up on those flat faces. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I'm not good at cleaning. Like I said, after the sand, I'm just going to a powder coating place for sure. With any other wheels. I'm satisfied. I always worry I'm going to put it on too thick. So I think these will get three coats. So I don't mind if the coverage is you know, a little bit showing. I don't want any more runs. Mm. Mm. There's people worse than me, I'm sure. I like that color though, it's nice. I'm gonna have to grab her center cap and spray those. So, did all the faces. I did that barrel just to make sure it was spraying nice. Then I'm gonna put the barrels on these three. Always going to do the faces first from here on out because you get better quality spray at the beginning of the can compared to the end. And then if I start running a little short, I won't be in some kind of panic. 
I just did a fourth coat on the faces, three coats on the caps that I almost forgot about. I have a feeling those are going to flake. Uh, if they do, we'll just order black caps. But I always, I don't know, I'm so terrified of stuff making runs that I feel like I put it on too thin. Uh, I always do this when I paint. So what I'm going to do is on the left side of this one, I'm going to go pretty heavy uh, and just see what it looks like after it flashes off in like 20 minutes. So if instead, well, so this side, this is kind of the rate I was going. So like, about like that. Like, I don't know. I just don't know how to paint. <laughs> Maybe anybody that does know how to paint, just let me know. So on this side, if I do like a little bit thicker, like quite a bit thicker. See if the texture is a little smoother. But um, this can's almost out. So what had happened is I started running into did all the faces, and I really only had enough paint for as thin as I'm putting it on to do two of the barrels. So these two barrels have three coats. These had two. So I'll just use up the rest of this can, and we'll call it a day. All right, the Q7's filthy because it's winter. It's just gonna be filthy. But she had the pump not stop and spilled diesel all over the side of the gas station on the way home so i'm gonna wash that thing so it looks good we'll wash all the grease off these wheels see how they look on the on the vehicle okay all installed i really i do like the, the color like it's just a little bit shiny looks really good i think that i suck at painting i probably should have put it on thicker so i think next time i would do them flat on the ground so i can really lay it out and not worry about runs otherwise super happy